Hello, it's Mr. Obi from GCSE Physics Explained. I'm going to tell you about the types of nuclear radiation. This is the periodic table. The full table shows all 118 elements that humans have discovered. Elements are made from atoms. Atoms are made from three subatomic particles called protons, neutrons and electrons. The protons and neutrons are found in the nucleus of the atom at the centre. The electrons orbit around the nucleus. The nucleus of some atoms are unstable because additional neutrons have joined the nucleus. These unstable atoms are called radioactive isotopes. An isotope is an atom with the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons. I'll tell you more about isotopes in another video. The nucleus of a radioisotope gives out radiation as it becomes stable. This is a random process called radioactive decay because you cannot predict when the decay will happen. Types of nuclear radiation. Alpha radiation is a particle that's ejected from the nucleus and consists of two protons and two neutrons. It is the same as a helium nucleus. It has a relative mass of four and a relative charge of plus two. A beta minus particle is a high speed electron ejected from an unstable nucleus when a neutron turns into a proton. Here's a slow motion close up. It has a negligible mass and a charge of minus one. The positron is a beta plus particle. It is a high speed particle with the same negligible mass as an electron but with a charge of plus one. Here is a slow motion close-up of a positron being released. Gamma radiation is a high frequency and high energy electromagnetic wave. It is emitted from an unstable nucleus, usually after a different type of radiation has been emitted from the nucleus first, but which left the nucleus still with too much energy, so that's when gamma is released to try to get rid of some of that energy. A neutron is emitted from an unstable nucleus. It has a relative charge of zero and a relative mass of plus one. Here is a summary of the five types of radiation that you need to know for your exams. The table describes what the radiation is made from, where they are emitted from, their relative mass and relative charge. Pause the video to read the information. Ionising powers of nuclear radiation. Ionization is the addition or removal of an electron to become an ion. An ion is an atom with an overall electrical charge. Here you can see that alpha is highly ionizing because it knocks an electron off every atom that it collides with and turns them into a positive ion. Beta is ionizing but not as much as alpha. Gamma is only weakly ionizing, as shown by my animation. Here is a summary of the ionization powers of nuclear radiation that you need to know for your exams. Range in air of nuclear radiation. The range in air means how far will the nuclear radiation travel in air. You can see that alpha will only travel three to five centimeters in air. Beta travels 10 to 15 centimetres in air and gamma is capable of travelling very far distances in air. Here is a summary of the range in air that you need to know for your exams. Penetration power of nuclear radiation. You need to know what material is required to stop alpha, beta and gamma. Alpha is stopped by paper. Beta is stopped by aluminium that is 3 millimetres thick. Gamma is stopped by lead that is 5 centimetres thick or concrete that is a few metres thick. Here is a summary of the penetration powers of nuclear radiation that you need to know for your exams. Conclusion. Here is a summary of everything I've included in this video in an easy to read table. Pause the video or take a screenshot so that you can use it when you're revising.
Good luck in your exams. If you found the video useful, can you hit the like button, because that helps me out a bunch. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications using the bell icon. I'm producing new content weekly. Thanks very much, work hard, be nice, and I'll see you in the next one.